All right, hey, it's Unit 13 here. I've got a Dynamed Mega Medic bag, and um, I love this bag. I think it's really great for all kinds of medical supplies, um, and I use it in conjunction with other kits, but I need to be able to pack it. And because of the way it's configured, you can see, I don't know why this is showing up on that camera, but hopefully you can tell that it has no way to add it to a pack frame. Um, it only has shoulder strap attachment or these hand attachments. When I load this thing up, it's 35 plus pounds. Um, it may be more when I add my other new addition to it. Um, I'm reconfiguring my gear. So what I'm going to do is um, make a video to uh, how I'm going to attach it to this Molly 2 frame. Okay, I'm gonna, my next step is, I just want to make sure that I have everything in place that I need. Um, I need webbing to make sure that I have um, some way to attach it. So I've got some binding tape to use as a backer and one inch webbing. I have my hardware because I'm going to need that to attach it to the frame. Um, I'm going to need a way to cut this so I have my rope cutter that I use to cut webbing cordage. And cordage. A um, seam ripper to open up the seams because it's going to require opening up some of the seams on here and then re-sewing those and then a hand sewing all because I'm not sure that I'll be able to get this all of this bag through the machine a lot of it I think I will but maybe not all of it we'll find out as the project progresses um, so the next step is going to be to um, you know put this on the frame and start marking so let's let's go do that what I'm going to do next is figure out the length of this so I have a mock-up of how I'm going to attach it using one of those, I forgot what that little plastic piece is there. Those are all military grade that I'm using. I ordered it direct from the same supplier. This supplies the United States military. find out the length of this to start marking multiple pieces all the ones I need to get this thing attached to that frame Wow what a nice piece of equipment this rope cutter or whatever it's called hot knife because this is the way to do it. See what I mean? I didn't show you the finished edge, but it's got this beautiful finished edge. The next challenge, fit this finished piece here through this sewing machine and try to add on this webbing. I was nearly sure that I was gonna have to use that hand doll to stitch some of this webbing on. Fortunately, I was able to put every one of these uh, straps or little pieces of webbing, I'm not sure what to call it, but uh, put these, uh, put this web straps on using this sewing machine. I couldn't have been happier, happier using the sewing machine just because of the stitch quality and consistency. Clean up those threads. And here you'll see what I mean. That's why I use it. This is, I'm particularly happy with this, how this turned out. Because I had to rip that seam there and stitch it all the way through that. And here, here I am. Getting it, uh, putting those last little straps on. There it is. It's strapped on. It took about probably 45 minutes to an hour to sew all those. It was very slow going just because of trying to maneuver it through that machine was, wasn't easy. 
You also notice those straps on the top are on those slanted angles. And the reason is, is because if you look at this photo, you can see the shoulder strap assembly goes in those, uh, those horizontal lines that are on there. I don't have this modeled or full because I don't have a model or anything to fill it up with yet. But there, there it is. There is the Mega Medic bag modified to work on a Molly 2 frame. I think it'll be working fine.